Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. On my channel, we discuss all things homeschool, right now fourth grade, enjoying this wonderful ride that we're on. I really appreciate your time and appreciate you being here. So today I want to talk all about Singapore Dimensions math. And specifically, we're just going to look at the fourth grade level because that is what I have. So it is a fairly new curriculum, but Singapore obviously is not um, new in the United States. Just like with the Singapore primary, the years separate into two semesters. So you have A and B. So A would be your first semester, B your second. For, for each semester, you have a workbook, a textbook, tests, and then the teacher's guide. So I wanted to just take a moment and walk through the teacher's guide and how they have this set up. So this is, this is the teacher's guide for the first part of the fourth grade dimensions. So, um, At the beginning of the teacher's guide, there is the scope and sequence. So we'll just look at fourth grade. So for fourth grade, for A, we're going to do numbers to 1 million, addition and subtraction, multiples and factors, multiplication, division, fractions, adding and subtracting fractions, multiplying a fraction and a whole number, then line graphs and line plots. So I want to focus on this fractions and walk through uh, some additional information for um, Singapore using the fractions as an example. So when we start with chapter seven, adding and subtracting fractions, it shows you that we have the chapter opener and then it shows you the lessons and the page for each lesson within this book and then the resources. So you have your textbook resources as well as your workbook resources and then the objectives for each lesson. The beginning notes for each chapter really gives you ideas of how to teach the lesson and it gives you multiple methods. So here's method one for fractions and then method two. And then it talks about subtracting the mixed numbers and some of the materials that you'll need and then the black line masters. These black line masters are found on the Singapore website under the dimensions section. And so these are downloads. And so I'll get into that when we um, go through the lesson. And then it talks about the activities. So you have the chapter opener and then you go into lesson one. Something to notice is that the teacher's guide is in full color and they have the full page of the textbook on here. Um, so for example, this is from the textbook, textbook 4A, page 171, and it is a full color exact replica of what the student will have in their textbook, except this just has the answers in it as well. So as an example, let's walk through lesson four. So this is still chapter seven, lesson four, and it's adding mixed numbers. So you have your objective and then your um, lesson materials, which would be fraction manipulatives. Throughout Singapore Dimensions, they follow the philosophy of think, learn, do, exercise, and practice. It's so going to see those sections throughout the teacher's manual for each lesson. Think, learn, do, exercise, and practice. So Think is where you would provide the students with the manipulatives and then in the student textbook, which this is the exact replica, the exact picture of the student textbook, except it has actually has the answers in it. Um, it will give you a think problem. So you provide the students with manipulatives. You ask the student how they would complete this. So we're thinking about the problem and then we learn. So now we are into some concrete examples to learn. And you can talk about either method. Um, as we discussed, there were two methods that they're showing and they show you with the fractions, how to walk through step-by-step step how to solve the problem. And then you have the do. So, so this is still in the student textbook. So we still have additional problems 
for the do. Then it will tell you at the bottom of this page where the exercise is. So the exercise would be in your student workbook, which is the black and white version workbook. And it gives you, these are the problems that would be in the workbook as well as you now have the answers for this lesson. Something else I would like to point out is the workbook. So this will be the answers to the individual workbook pages. In the workbook, there are always at least one, but normally more word problems. Some of them are just considered regular problems, and then some of them are considered the challenge word problems. This curriculum does have word problems. There's no doubt about it. If you would like extra word problem practice, they do have some workbooks that you can also purchase. So let's just take a look at another lesson. This is lesson seven, where we are practicing. Now, if you just flip back to chapter seven overview, you can see where we have already done all of our lessons and now we have practice. So this is additional practice with regards to our fractions. And we have a, an activity. So you always have at least one activity in this practice section. And for this activity, it says that we need the closest to five fraction cards. I go online to singapore.com under programs dimensions, look under 4A, and then go down to chapter seven, and it tells me what materials and black line masters. And then the download PDF is a link that I click on. And so I clicked on the closest to five fraction cards and I was able to print these out. And so I could easily just cut them and laminate them if I want to, but these are the closest to five fraction cards that are available online. And so then what we would do is we could follow this activity with regards to the, these fraction cards. So this is just additional practice. Dimensions does have a at home video. It's for $85 for one year. So it would cover both the A and the B of the year. And again, that's for $85. I do not know very much about that because I don't utilize the video portion. In general, Dimensions Math does have very detailed um, teaching instructions. However, it is also relatively time consuming. So this is not a fast math curriculum. It's not a quick, fast curriculum. So it, you do need to be prepared to set aside some time to not only learning their method, but also each day in teaching. There, there are not that many problems on the page. It is paced out very nicely. There is a clear, consistent layout to each day. So that way may make daily teaching easier because for each day you are going to focus on think first, then learn and then do, and then the practice exercises. Within the test booklet, there is a test A and a test B for each chapter. So you can choose which one you use. There's also two continual assessments. So one is midway through, and then the second one is at the very end. For these continual assessments, there's also a test A and a test B. And so the continual assessment will really look at everything that you have covered thus far. And then there is also the answer key in the back of the test booklet for both test A and test B. One additional thing to mention is that Singapore Dimensions Math is aligned to Common Core. So you can go to the Singapore website and print out for whatever grade level you will have students um, utilizing this program this year. You can, point, you can print out the Common Core standard and then the chapter and lesson as to where in Dimensions Math this standard is taught. So if Common Core is something that you need to um, stick with, just know that Dimensions Math is Common Core aligned. Finally, please see in the descriptions below a couple of other videos from other YouTube channels that I think are very helpful in regards to Singapore and Dimensions Math. I thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Again, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you next time.